Well, seeing a mail in your mailbox is something that most people take for granted, but not residents of a state college apartment complex because of a disagreement between a property company and the U.S. Postal Service, about 100 people aren't getting their mail delivered. Irvin Hinckley spoke with both sides to investigate what's happening here. He joined us live from State College. So, Evan, why isn't the mail getting sent to this apartment? Well, good evening, John Amanda. The U.S. Postal Service is not calling the building an apartment. They're classifying it as a dorm, and that's why mail is not being delivered on site. Bel Air apartment resident Elise Smalley has a key to her mailbox. But that hasn't done her much good. The boxes have sat empty since the complex opened in August. I've never had this issue anywhere that I've lived, and I've lived in about nine or ten different places my whole life, including in the middle of the Adirondack Mountains, and USPS could find me there. And I can't get mail here. Instead, Elise, who doesn't have a car, has to walk a mile to the post office to get her mail, or rely on friends to drive her. It's been very, very frustrating. Um, it's been very isolating and just having to, having to plan my life around other people's schedules that have cars has been incredibly inconvenient for me and incredibly inconvenient for them and it's not something that I ever thought I would have to do over mail. David Jones, who oversaw the complex project, was also caught by surprise. I'm dumbfounded. I've been developing properties for 35 years. I've never heard of such a thing. Jones says the local postmaster first approved mail delivery back in May, but when the complex opened, all of a sudden we weren't getting mail. The Postal Service said the complex is a dorm, feeling it has common rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms, things the complex doesn't have. And then we countered by saying, well, all of your issues here are incorrect. Jones sent their occupancy certificate listing it as an apartment. The Postal Service response, and they just kept saying no. They sent back a formal thing with actually the same answer. Jones tells us the Postal Service also claims that the complex is meant for students, but he says it also houses non-students like Smalley, who was placed in the building. How can I be in an affordable housing program that's in a dormitory? It's ridiculous, and if they were to take it a step further and say, geez, if any building in State College has a student in it, it's student housing, well then, there you go. The post office doesn't really have a job anymore. And Jones has sent a letter to the Postmaster General down in Washington, D.C. He says he's also filed a claim with the ACLU, feeling that this is a government service that should be provided. So far, he says he hasn't heard back from either. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.